I had uh, a really great Halloween. Um, once, Halloween party, everything went well, everybody dressed up, fun, fun, fun. Um, and I was staying at a friend's house and I went back, you know, exhausted from so much fun, fell into bed. Uh -oh. And the sheets smelled funny. Uh. Like I just couldn't, I couldn't, and I tried to put it out of my mind. And um, <laughs> I went to my friend and I said, I'm, I'm so sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but the bed smells weird. Will you come and, and she came, smelled the pillows and everything, and then started laughing and pulled me into this room full of antelope, stuffed antelope heads. And it turned out her dad was keeping his taxidermy in that bed. Oh, God. You were friends with a girl whose father was a taxidermy specialist operating out of the house. So I was hoping you would take from this story, yes. You've got to choose better. <laughs> there's some action in it. There's, there's some nighttime intrigue, kind of thriller stuff. Uh, and of course, you've got the comedy all the way through it. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit of romance, is there? Just, just, just. just a Hard kissing. I, I kiss Rachel very hard on the mouth a couple of times. It's exhausting. No lip separation ever, by the way. <laughs> yeah, You're keeping it real classy, by the way. Thank you. Thank you for that. You know, Thanks. this is real, and I asked her to respect that. <laughs> She's Annie. I'm Max. <laughs> we met at a trivia night. Yeah. Um, love at first sight. First, first answer. First answer, yeah. And, um, and so that's kind of what's brought us together in life is our competitive nature and you know being able to finish each other's sentences and liking just playing games that's all we like to do with our life the tough part is the is is this is the night shooting uh there there was there was a pitch i made early early on to call it game day but then people <laughs> would think it was like a football movie or something <laughs> Because I, I don't like to work nights. I, I like to be asleep by 7.30, 7.45 most, most nights. Um, True story. Yeah, it's not, not that much of an exaggeration. <laughs> so these, uh, so starting work at 7.30 and going all night, it's just, I'm, I'm even more cranky than usual. Yeah, and you push everything indoors. Yeah, I like right. to put every, all the scenes indoors so that we can just tent, tent the houses that we shoot in. Kind of like if you're getting extermination. You know, if you're trying to kill rats, Very similar. that's what it looks like yeah. when we're shooting. Yeah. So it's just black inside. Real vampires on this one, yeah. Well, you're not going to like this, but <laughs> I, I've, I, I've been a fan of hers for a long time. We, we worked together briefly a long time ago, but, you know, it, I've never really known her. Certainly not, not like I do having worked with her in a few weeks on this. But, you know, you get a sense when you watch people in these interviews or stuff like that, like what kind of, what kind of person they are. Um, so I wasn't surprised that we got along. I mean, she's a great actress, but she's not that great. You can't fool that camera <laughs> that well. Like, that's a genuine laugh, right? Um, so I, you know, it was instantaneous would be my, my long-winded answer because, and that wasn't a shock to me because I, I knew she was, you know, a good person. It's all about being a good person. This is yeah. your cue to tell me to go. <laughs> yes, oh. yes. No, that was ridiculous. I mean, they work really seamlessly together. I didn't know how it was going to go. Um, I've never worked with two directors before like that. And they kind of like just pick up, one picks up where the other left off. And, you know, it's just it's really organic and easy. And it kind of flows so organically. And it's just a nice set to be on. And yeah. it's, it's got a good vibe to it. And, um, and they're, again, very nice people, which is like our bottom line. Yeah, they don't here. take anything too seriously. You know, you don't you don't want somebody coming in here, you know, trying to make some Oscar winning effort. I mean this we're making fun here and, and they have a really great, light, fun sense of humor and they're just the right guys for this material, I think. Yeah. I'm like a sore loser. Is better or worse? Is worse. Than an obnoxious winner. Yeah, because at least you know you you won. You you did some, you know you have something to go on. It's hard to quiet an obnoxious winner though. A sore loser usually sprints with their displeasure. It's usually a quick right. God damn it or something like that. A quiet sulk, which you wouldn't necessarily be privy to. Yeah, or if you do see the sulk, you can cheer them up. 
you know, with an obnoxious winner, you just, you can't, can't get the batteries out of those people. <laughs> they just keep going and you have to leave. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> And if you're, if you're involved in any sort of game nights at all, like a lot of my friends and couples friends are, you relate to a lot of some of the stuff in this and, and the escalation that happens beyond that when it leaves the house and it gets out into the streets and we get into sort of the, the action comedy elements of this, that's kind of where you would, you'd want, that's why it deserves to be a movie, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to just like, well, I don't need to see any filmed footage of my game nights at home because they're not that great. Um, so we get out, we kick it up to another level. Um, so it's what kind it's of pretty game fun. You're having, yeah, <laughs> mine are totally filmable. Oh really? Oh yeah. You get it outside and chase bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta hang out with you. <laughs> hey, Bali here. So, are you a big movie fan? Well, stay with me as I have some cool random facts for you. Due to a miscommunication on set in the Hateful Eight. Kurt Russell accidentally smashed an antique guitar from 1870 instead of a prop. The dog who played Toto in The Wizard of Oz received a higher salary than most of the people who played Munchkins. And lastly, Michael Caine was so terrified of Heath Ledger's Joker in The Dark Knight that he forgot his lines in the first scene they shot together. Do you know any other cool facts? Let me know below. And remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Bye-bye.